Well, enough of you guys voted, tweeted at me, and commented that you want a sensor placement video. So here it is, quit your whining. Um, if you have a Rift and you have either two or three sensors, you're probably wondering, where the hell should I put them in my room to get the optimum coverage? So today I'm going to be tackling that burning question in a way that is hopefully helpful for everybody. So first I'm going to focus on whether you have two uh, sensors. I'm gonna show you the optimum setup to get 360 degree tracking with two. And then I'm going to talk about the setup that I use that I have found to be the most useful with three sensors. Now before I get into the different setups, I'm going to recommend something that I recommended in my last video, which you can check out by clicking that button up there, which is invest in some wall mounts for these sensors. Putting these sensors on the wall where they're out of place and they won't get bumped or, or moved is definitely something that I would recommend and it also allows you to get them up much higher than you normally would be able to if you were putting the mounts on say a desk or a bookshelf. Um, just having them up and pointing down at your play space makes them work a lot better. Uh, I'll link some of the ones that I use in the description below, uh, which you can go check out and again, I, I would highly recommend those because it'll make your life a lot easier. Another really helpful tool for visualizing where your Rift sensors are tracking is something called the Desk Tool. I'm gonna to link it in the description below as well. And basically it's an app that you put on your VR headset and you are able to see the field of view of each of your different sensors while in VR. So you can see if there's any spots that you're completely missing or if your sensor is tracking somewhere that's completely outside of your play space. Uh, you can readjust them and run that again just to make sure that, again, you're getting as much coverage for uh, your place space as you possibly can. But without further ado, let's jump right into this. So starting off with a two sensor setup. Now Oculus recommends that you just put them on your desk in front of wherever your play space is going to be. Unfortunately, if you decide to bend over and try to pick something up off the ground, those are not going to cut it. So instead, to achieve the perfect 360 degree tracking or as perfect as you can get with two sensors, I would recommend the following graphic. Now this shows what I have found to be the optimal placement for a two sensor setup. You're going to want to put the two sensors at different ends of the room that you're trying to play in. Uh, the different opposite corners will definitely give you the most coverage. And the key here, the key to getting the best tracking possible is to have one of them up high that's pointing down at your space and you want one of them down low. So you can get a full height coverage because if you have both of them looking down on you, if you bend over and are covering both your sensor over there and your sensor over there, if you bend over and grab something, uh, you're going to get a loss of tracking which is going to ruin your experience. If you have uh, one sensor lower than the other one, then you're going to still maintain uh, the coverage of the floor area, which is pretty important in games where you're gonna be picking stuff up or if you need to uh, grab stuff off the floor. So what you guys are seeing on screen right now is just a little test that I threw together in Oculus Medium to show you that at both high, medium, and low heights, my sensors are tracking my hands pretty much perfectly. If there were any glitches in the tracking, you'd see a little bit of a judder in the circle that I was drawing. But as you can see on screen, they're perfectly smooth all the way around, which means our sensors are tracking my hands as they should be. All right, now moving on to the three sensor setup. This is the configuration that I have found in my testing to work the best and have the best coverage. So I'm gonna show you that now uh, in the diagram that's on the screen, it shows the, uh, the room that I'm in right now with where my sensors are. Again, similar to the two sensor setup, the three sensor setup is great when it has a couple of sensors up high that can look down on your play space, but also one that's down low so you don't lose tracking when you bend over and are obscured from those tracking sensors that are pointing down at you. This, again, is a major key because from what I can tell, the most times that I lose tracking is whenever I'm bending over to pick things up. Okay, so real quick, I wanted to give you a little behind the scenes look at the uh, setup that I have going on. Actually, should I be, should I be doing this? What's up, vloggers? Oh, that feels so stupid. Okay, so yeah, I just wanted to give you a little uh, taste of what my sensor setup actually looks like. Uh, so forgive me if the quality of this is absolutely garbage. But as you can see right there, that is one of my uh, sensors and the Vibe sensor right next to it, which is pointing down. Actually, I'll give you a, a view of this main room. So this is the play space, obviously, um, as you could probably assume from the green screens. Um, so up there we have one of the sensors uh, next to that Vive sensor as well. 
Then down here, we have the second sensor. So this guy is in charge of covering all that bottom stuff like I was mentioning in the video before. And again, the field of view of these guys is pretty big. So even that sensor, uh, even though it's pointing, it looks like it's pointing upwards a little bit, it still covers pretty much all of this floor area. So, hey doggo, what's going on? Uh, then over here in that opposite corner, I have another rift sensor and the other Vive sensor. And this, I have legitimately never Ever had a problem uh, with the sensors um, losing tracking or anything like that and again this is a really fortunate setup to have just because I do have a lot of space that is just dedicated to VR my desk is over here too um, but uh, just try to adapt this as well as you can um, for your own setup and I think you should do pretty well those tips that I gave you probably not on screen the tips that I gave you are, are pretty solid and I think that again if you just try to do that low and high strategy you can do that with four sensors you can do it with 12 sensors who knows um, but I think it'll be in pretty good shape if you do follow those tips another thing I just wanted to touch on the two sensor versus three sensor debate and whether or not I still believe you need a third sensor if you want to do 360 degree room scale um, a lot of people in my last video were saying that two sensors works fine and they do have some merit. You can definitely do two sensors and still have a pretty great time in 360 degree room scale. However, that's in like a perfect setting. Again, I have a really, really nice room that allows me to do VR with very few um, things to get in the way of my sensors. So a two sensor setup for me actually does work pretty perfectly. But again, not a lot of people have this kind of luxury. And if you're doing it in a crowded office with things getting in the way, I still really would recommend you getting that third sensor just to make sure your tracking is consistent. All right, and that about does it for my ultimate sensor setup video. If you guys know of any other tricks that I didn't cover in this video, please let me know in the comments below. I know there's always some crazy stuff that you guys come up with that I couldn't possibly have thought of. So I'd love to hear if you have anything else. Also, if you're looking for more tips and tricks about how to get the most out of your Rift experience, be sure to check out the video that I'm linking right now on the screen uh, because I go over a bunch of little tweaks that uh, you might not know about. So check that out and if you enjoy it and wanna see more, be sure to subscribe to my channel to keep up.